Hi, dear student. Today we are going to continue Unit 11, and this is Lesson 2. In Lesson 2, we are going to to have the uh, grammar part of the uh, of the unit, and today's grammar is quite. It's not difficult, but it's quite new for you. So please concentrate. And in, the, in uh, slide number 12, you can see. The passive and active voice. We are going to know about the passive and active voice. The English sentence um, consists of two forms, active and passive. Let's uh, know about them. Uh, A, active form. What is this active form? Let's have an example to know about it. The boy broke the window. The boy broke the window. Of course, broke. Uh, this is the past form of break, break, to break something, to uh, cut it into two uh, uh, parts. Okay. This is active sentences. Focus on, this, on the subject or the doer of the action. The subject is the doer of the action. And the subject in this sentence, which is the boy broke the window, is the boy. The subject is the boy. What about the verb? The verb is broke. And this is a past form of verb break, as I told you. What is the object? The window. So the boy broke the window. The boy is the subject. Broke is the verb. The window is the object. Next. Here you can see the passive form. So what is a passive form? As, I, as, I, as you see in the slide, passive loves object. Passive loves object, so the mainly we are going to use the object in this form. We use passive when we don't know the doer of the action, or if the doer is not as important as the action. Let's have an example for that. The window was broken. The window was broken. Okay, so you can say by the boy or you cannot say it. Okay, it's okay. You can say that or this. So here is the object. We start with the object, the window. The verb is was broken, the subject by the boy. So uh, in the active, the, uh, uh, the order of the sentence is normal. The boy broke the window. But in the passive, we change the order of the sentence into and we start with the object. Okay, next slide. Here are the steps of transforming the active into passive. The steps that you have to follow ch to change active sentences to passive sentences. Okay. Number one, divide the sentence to its main parts. Divide the sentences to its main parts, like subject, verb, and object. Number two, start your passive sentence with an object. Start your passive sentence with an object of the active sentence, okay? Number three, notice the tense. You have to notice the tense. This is a very important step. You have to notice the tense, whether it is present or past, okay? So to change it as shown in the following cases. In next slide, we will see more examples. Number one. If the verb is in the present simple, we use verb to be, am, is, or are, plus past participle of the verb. Here again, we use the past participle after verb to be. This is the second time we use the past participle, you remember? Okay. Examples, we clean the garage every day. This is an active sentence, a normal active one, and it is in the present. We clean, this is present simple, I think. We clean the garage every day. So, how to uh, uh, transform this or change this active uh, sentence into an, a passive one? Let's say, the garage is cleaned by us every day. You can say by us or you cannot, you may not mention it because it's not very important. The garage is cleaned every day. This is the passive form of the active uh, sentence before. Okay, in the next uh, slide, we will have the other form. 
were the other tense if the verb in the past simple. We use verb to be, was or were, plus past participle of the verb. Let's have an example. We opened the office at 9 o'clock. This is the active one. We opened, this is the subject, we opened, the verb opened, the office is the object at 9 o'clock. Okay, so how can we uh, change this into passive? We will start with the object, which, which is the office. Was opened, was in the past. Why? Because the verb was in the past. Was opened at 9 o'clock by us. You can say by us or you may not mention it at all because it's not very important. The most important thing in the passive is the object. So you start with the object and you can say by or not. In the next slide, you will have some uh, 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 examples from your book, okay? Open this page and you will see some examples with me, okay? Here, I make it bigger for you. Computers are used in many offices, stores, and businesses. Computers are used in many offices, stores, and businesses. So here, this is a passive voice or a passive form of the English sentence because we started with the uh, object. It should be, uh, if we transform this into active, we would, we, uh, I would say, we use computers in many of, in offices, stores or in businesses but we started with the computer so the computers are used in many offices stores and businesses okay billions of emails are sent every day billions of emails are sent every day this is passive voice also in the present if we turn it into active what we should what should we say okay we will say we send in billions of emails every day, okay? It's, it's very easy, but I, have, I, I want you to concentrate and think about if it is present or past, because if it is present, you, can, you are going to use verb to be in the present, which is am, is, or are. If it is in the past, you are going to use was or were plus the past participle of the verb. So the changing here in the verb, verb to be in the present and verb to be in the past according to the tense of the verb in the sentence. A computer is made of metal, plastic and glass. It isn't made of wood, okay? A computer is made. Look at is followed by made, which is the past participle of the verb make. Is the World Wide Web, WWW, used by lots of people? Yes, it is. Is the World Wide Web, the World Wide Web, which is WWW, used by lots of people? Yes, it is. In the next slide, we will have the past passive. The past passive, we are going to use verb to be in the past and the past participle of the verb. Listen, read, and say. Morse code was developed to make messages simple. Morse code was developed to make messages simple. Uh, if you are asking about this Morse code, this is a, a kind of clicks. Morse code is a kind of clicks. Let's say one click is for, for letter A. Two clicks uh, is, uh, are for uh, letter B, and that's and so on so they click on it they click on the telegraph and they send the messages one click for a two clicks for b okay if you look to the picture here you will see many messages were sent all over the world the telegraph machine was invented in the 1830s notice the past form of verb to be followed by the past participle of the verb in each sentence. Listen uh, uh, carefully and concentrate with me because you are going to circle the, uh, 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 the answer. The telegraph machine made it easy to communicate with people for, uh, far away. 
the telegraph machine made it easy to communicate with people for far away okay before the telegraph machine many letters were sent many letters were sent we used where because letters are plural so we should use where okay this could take a long time to arrive this could take a long time to arrive messages sent by telegraph machine were called telegrams messages were sent by messages sent by a, a telegraph machine were called telegrams okay in telegrams important information were written and read quickly important information were written and read uh, quickly they were written in a morse code they were written in a morse code in morse code this code was invented this code was invented by samuel morse that's why it's called morse code the code was understood by the person who worked in the telegraph office okay they wrote the messages on paper then the paper messages were delivered to the correct person eventually telegrams where telegrams were replaced by other forms of communication in 1876 the telephone was invented uh, the telephone was invented at that time in 1876 people could speak directly to people far away the first email was sent in 1971 communication around the world is now quicker than people in the past uh, ever imagined of course now it's very, it's quicker and it's easier also okay i hope you understood our lesson today i want you to study and practice a lot because uh, grammar and practice makes perfect thank you and bye bye